I'll join as long as I don't have to fill out any annoying family history forms. My horoscope said be suspicious of mobs. Normally, I schedule attacks through my office. You're in luck. I injected myself with the whoop-ass gene. I didn't spend eight years in medical school not to beat people up. <laughs> Ten cc's of pain. Stat. This is how we do it at Yale. What Hippocratic Oath? The doctor is in. Gout. Whatever you need. I never think. I just do. I'll destroy it in a dignified, humane manner. Ah! Four! Scalpel! Well, you're in luck. I'm a doctor and a miracle worker. I've always wanted to play doctor. Suture! Clear! Very well, I'll wait. I assume you have a waiting room full of tattered magazines? While I wait, I'd like to discuss the importance of diet. Oh, screw it. Everything's bad for you. If I miss any appointments, I have to charge myself. Wasting our time is no laughing matter. <laughs> <clears throat> Just call me Dr. Feelgood. Hip-hop hooray. Winning cures everything. Kwanzaa came early. I don't think I was sober for one minute of medical school. The best thing about being a doctor is helping people for giant amounts of money. I really hate the word stethoscope. <laughs> no matter how many tapes I submit, I just can't get on jackass. As a doctor, I'm concerned the aliens will interfere with my tea time. With the aliens around, I'll have a little competition in the probing game. I'm pulling the plug on our communication. Think of what Shakespeare could have accomplished with the eyes of an eagle. This is a horrible situation. <laughs> uh, careful not to have another heart attack. <laughs> Marge, I do facelifts, you know. I'm just saying. Lisa, would you trade babysitting for cotton swabs? <laughs> Easy, Julius. Do your worst. Good lord. Ow, my DNA. Oh, my. <laughs> the world is ending. Smoke and drink till you puke. Oh, now I won't live to see my 20th Clemson reunion. Go, Tigers. I noticed the bullies lingering outside the museum on my way home from my tie boxing match. As your family doctor, I'd advise you and your sister to... Get over to the forest, Stet. I cannot stress enough how unhealthy the Duff eating contest is and how strongly I bet on Bumblebee Man. Bernice said lard lads come to life and that he moves pretty good for a big guy. <laughs> An alien at the mall told me about their amazing universal health care while it violated me. Reports of dolphins harassing people at the pier are scientifically impossible, but I don't care much for science. Your vigilantism saved the museum. Please don't kill me. Nice work stopping those loggers. Now that they don't have health insurance, I won't have to sew on any more of their severed limbs. <laughs> Congratulations with the eating contest. Your father doesn't have long to live. Lard Lad was in surgery three hours. Didn't make it. Cheers for saving them all. Jeers for not buying me a present. Those dolphins will think twice about acting like humans again. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I tripped and fell into a pile of ladies' magazines. The perfume samples got all over me. I was... Uh, attacked by a female vampire bat. It was wearing lipstick. It said it wanted to kill you, but I stopped it. So don't you worry now. Brandine, you haven't been coming in for your pregnancy checkups. Oh, well, does Cletus help at least? So you're confident that Cletus is the father?